Before striking the shelter, remove all accessories and make sure the roof and walls are as clean as possible. Working around the inside of the shelter floor, unsnap all straps connecting the walls to the frame and thread them back under the frame. On the outside of the shelter, separate the vinyl roof from the walls Remove the four vinyl sections and place them inside the shelter. Avoid touching the walls to the ground whenever possible. Remove the insulated wall sections and place them inside the shelter. Remove the threshold ramp. Now remove the door and place it back in its vinyl bag. All GK1935 wall panels are the same size and are folded the same way. Repeat the following procedure for each of the shelter's four vinyl wall panels. Starting at the end opposite from the right of door or left of door label, roll up the wall panels tightly. The insulated wall panels are folded in a similar way, except you will want to start with the interior white side of the insulation facing upwards. Then fold and roll them up identically to the vinyl walls. Detach the corner straps on the floor. Remove and set aside all the shelter base bars. Begin with the floor laid flat. Fold the shorter sides of the floor to the middle to form a rectangle as shown. Fold in the two longer sides so they meet in the middle of the floor. Fold the sides to the middle again. Fold the sides to the middle a third time. Fold one side over the opposite side. Working from both ends, fold up the floor panel in arm length sections until they meet in the middle. Fold one end over the other to finish folding the floor. Remove the locking pins from the two legs at each end of the shelter. Squeeze the leg and roof trusses together, then install the pin. Remove the locking pin from the long upwind side of the shelter. Gently lower it to the ground. Remove the locking pins from the other side of the frame and lower it to the ground. Separate the insulated roof panel from the frame. Remove the vent caps by pulling out on the locking pins and lifting the vent cap off of the key flange. Western Shelter Systems recommends folding the roof panels while still on the frame. Replace the protective vinyl squares on top of the vent collars. Fold the shorter sides of the roof panel over the vent collars to form a rectangle. Fold the shorter ends up to the vent collars again. Fold one longer side approximately 8 inches over the center line of the roof panel so it covers the vent collars. Fold the same side over itself. Fold the same side over itself again. Fold the opposite side up, making it flush with the side you have already folded. Fold the same side over itself. Fold the same side over itself again. Fold the same side over the top, making a single roll with the vent collar centered on the frame. Begin folding both ends towards the center in arm length sections. At the last fold, bring one end of the roof panel up over the opposite end to form one complete package. Remove the folded roof panel from the frame and place it in the field bag for storage and transport. The insulated roof panel folds in the same manner.
Release the locking buttons on each of the four roof trusses on the center section. Secure the center mainframe section with a strap. Remove all eave bars from the mainframe. To fold up the mainframe end sections, push the locking buttons under each roof truss. Slide the roof trusses up toward the key flange. Push the upper locking button on each truss and secure them. Gather the trusses together and tighten the securing strap around the base of each end section. Here is the proper order and method for packing each case. Case repacking and contents could vary according to your specific setup. Case number one includes 12 base bars, end frame assembly, center frame assembly, flooring system. Case number two includes 12 eave bars, end frame assembly, high wind stake kit, two threshold ramps. Case number three includes seven lamps, two vent caps, two double doors. Case number four includes two right of door vinyl wall panels, two left of door vinyl wall panels, one wiring harness, one air plenum. Case number five includes vinyl roof panel, insulated roof panel. The insulated wall panels are placed in a separate vinyl field bag. This includes two right of door insulated wall panels, two left of door insulated wall panels. 